Hey guys, we have Sophia here. She's our trainer and customer success specialist here at Rakoma. And today she's gonna to talk to you about the importance of stabilizer and why you need to be using this for machine embroidery specifically. So let's get started. Hi guys, I'm gonna explain you why it's so important. Stabilizer, it's what's going to go underneath your material and it's gonna stabilize your design. Why it's so important? If you don't use it, many, many things can happen to your design, like quality wise. So I'm gonna explain you with samples what can happen if you actually don't use it. But let's explain you first. There's so many stabilizers. Which one you use for which? Let's go into deep into them. Okay, come here. We uh, have here a tear away. You have two different types of tear away. You have the one and a half ounce and three ounce. What do they mean? It's the thickness of it. Depending on the material that you're using or uh, your design, how many stitches has, you're gonna use uh, something different. So they come from one and a half to 375. This one is thinner than this one. This is a little bit thicker. So it depends on your material. If your material is really thin, you're gonna go with a heavier backing. If your material is really thick, you're gonna go with a really lightweight backing, okay? That works the same way for a cutaway that we're gonna talk about later. When do you use tear away? You're gonna use it for any type of um, garments that you don't wash that often. I kind of put it that way, like bags, caps, leather, towels, you're actually gonna tear it away at the end of your embroidery. On the other hand, you have cutaway. It works the same way with the ounce, but this you're gonna use it with knit materials. Anything like sweaters, polos, t-shirts, this is more stable than actually tear away. Cutaway on the other hand, it's a more stable stabilizer uh, it's actually used for more high quantity stitch count designs. You actually use it for all type of knits, sweaters, anything that you need to put more stability on your design, uh, on your garments. Um, anything with like 100% polyester, I'm also gonna recommend you uh, cut away with something else. Because uh, you need to put more stabilized on those type of materials that have a lot of stretch. Uh, there are many, many different type of material, but all type of knits, everything from t-shirts, polos, uh, jackets, you will use uh, your cutaway because it's gonna stabilize that uh, design even better on it. Just wanna let you know that stabilizers, you can use one sheet, two, or even three. It depends on the type of fabric that you're doing and the, your design, how many stitches your design has. Some designs and, and some fabrics will need more stabilizer. You will, my recommendation will be to do some samples, try one with first, do an extra one for type of uniforms. I like to put two sheets, either two and a half ounce or three ounce cutaway. I think it's gonna stabilize it more. And since I'm gonna wash more often this kind of my polo, it's gonna stay your design flat for a long time. And it's gonna look, um, the quality is gonna look way better. And that's what you wanna accomplish uh, for your customers, right? Good quality on your designs. What happens if you actually don't use enough stabilizer? That's when you go and see on people those be the designs come in wavy. Once you start washing them, they become more wavy and more wavy because they didn't have the enough stabilize on, on them, okay? You have other type of backing. You also have the no-show. No-show, you usually use it for light colored garments or really uh, see-through garments. That way, you don't have that background underneath that when you cut it away, you're not gonna have that visible of the backing. You also mix the no-show with a tear away because this is really soft. And it's not that, it doesn't stabilize that good. So sometimes I use two sheets of no-show and I mix it with a 1.5 tear away. Like I said, but it will depend on your design and the complexity of, of it and also the fabric material that you're using, okay? You also have here the aqua top. Aquatot is actually a topping. Some people also call it Sobe because it, it's water soluble topping. Where are you gonna use it? You also, you're gonna use it to stabilize your stitches and so they don't disappear with some type of materials like towels. For instance, this towel, you have to actually put the Sobe on top. Remember, it's a topping. So the stitches will look even and they don't, because of the loops of the material, sometimes the, the stitches might not com look completely flat, they get lost between the loops of the, of the material. On fleece, 
You're also gonna use toppings. Sometimes I even recommend using on 100% polyester tissues. I sometimes recommend putting it on top because it's gonna even out those stitches and, and look more flat on your design. Why we use it on top? I'm gonna explain to you. When you do towels, you actually you're gonna use a tear away underneath. Then you're gonna hook your garment and you're gonna put the selvi on top. Don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be really hoop. It doesn't have to be um, completely straight without wrinkles. What's good about it? It disappears with water. Once you finish your design, you can rip it apart and what's left of it, you can just spray some water and it will disappear. It's really good. I really like it a lot to help me stabilize my design better to look at it more professionally. Backing comes into different colors. You either can get it in black or white. Um, it's your call if you want to have two different ones. Um, some companies just use uh, white because it's the most standard. But of course the white one you will use for light color garments and black one you will use it for dark color garments. Uh, remember, you're just gonna have it underneath. You're not gonna be able to see it, but if your garment is really light color, I recommend that you actually use uh, the white. Okay, so don't use the black one for light color garments. You also have sticky backing, or you also have this adhesive spray. Of course, the, uh, the one that comes with the backing with the glue already can be uh, pretty expensive. So in the beginning, I recommend getting some adhesive spray, and you can actually spray your own backing and sometimes, I always say, if you're doing a big logo, you can just spray uh, the spray on the middle, because this you can actually cut it away and actually trash it. So, or if you do what I do, I actually save it and I recycle it and I put as an extra sheet underneath my designs, okay? Uh, you can have more control if you use the adhesive spray. And when can I recommend it? I can recommend it for any type of material that has a lot of stretch because it's gonna help your hoop without any wrinkles. It's gonna stick to your material. You can eliminate those wrinkles and then you can put the hoop and that fabric is not gonna move. What happens if the fabric moves and loses that stretch, the original stretch, then your design when you unhoop it might come out of place and you can get some pinching on it. So that you eliminate it with the adhesive spray. It's really good to get the good quality design that you wanna provide to your customers. So what happens if you actually don't use stabilizer? A lot of problems can happen to your design, like you can lose registration, your tension is not gonna look good, and your material is gonna look weighty. So let's take a look at some samples that I have here. Over here you can tell how the machine start running and losing registration on the underlay. You also lost registration on the outer uh, frame and also over here. So that happens because I actually inverted this with no backing at all. Even though materials are thick and you might believe you don't need stabilizer like this canvas tote, it still lost registration over here. So those simple things, just using a, a, a really lightweight material of tear away will help not have these issues in here. You can tell the difference when you actually use a cutaway because this is a cotton t-shirt. You can see over here, everything looks where it needs to be, not lost registration anywhere. So this is a good quality design. That's how you want to give to your customers. I have a really good example over here on Apollo. If you take a look on this one, it looks completely how you want it. Completely flat. Tension looks perfect. Good quality designs over here. What happens if you actually don't use backing? Take a look at the difference. There are many factors over here. Your design looks really different. It looks really thinner kind of pucker on the on the fabric. It lost registration on here on the M and it's all wavy. So you can see here why it's so important to actually use the correct backing and to actually use it. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like it and subscribe to our channel so you can get all the inside scoop of all the new videos we'll be posting for you. I also want to invite you to our Facebook group, Embroidery and Costume Apparel Mastery, where you can meet with other customers and share your experiences and that you can ask any questions and, and help each other out. I also want to invite you to our website, www.recoma.us, where you can find many resources and training videos that will be helpful for you. Thank you for joining.